Oxford House. It, it saved my life. Um, and the reason I was able to do that is because of the strong support system that we have within Oxford House. What Oxford House did for me was giving my life back. It, it gave me a life, you know, it gave me um, a different way of living that I didn't know. I never took care of myself and never knew how to. And uh, Oxford taught me how to love myself. <clears throat> it's something I didn't know how to do before. Um, and because I've learned to love myself, I've learned a lot of other things, like how to love other people and how to be honest, how to be respectful and patient and accountable. I was never accountable for anything before. Hello there, I appreciate these moments of your time. I'd like to share one perspective on how Oxford House has been transforming the lives of individuals and their families since 1975. It's largely true that people coming into Oxford House are severely damaged spiritually and emotionally due to choices they have made through the course of their active addictions. These same people find themselves moving into their new Oxford Houses with a very low sense of self-worth and self-confidence and in need of developing tools for themselves to rebuild the damage done to themselves and to those around them. In the day-to-day -day structure of an Oxford House, there lies an opportunity for its members to turn their own lives around. Oxford has given me uh, not only my life back, uh, it's given me the opportunity to uh, step up and be a leader, uh, to help other people, which benefits myself as well. Uh, plus, it, it given me my family back, um, I'm an active member of my family. I've not lived in an Oxford house, but Oxford is where my daughter went when she came out of treatment. Um, Oxford has saved my family. While houses have a myriad of different ways that they will run themselves, the most basic structure includes three conditions that they must abide by in order to maintain their status as an Oxford House. Simply put, the conditions and the opportunities for growth from each are these. Houses are self-run democratically, and through this, a member can find their own voice while learning to respect the voice of others. Houses are fiscally independent, and through this, a member can gain a sense of financial responsibility either once again or for the first time in their lives. It's just been a blessing for me to be able to be taught how to uh, give back to society and the community that I live in instead of just take, 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 take. Um, I got, loved it so much and respect and so grateful for Oxford that I got involved. Houses operate themselves with a zero tolerance for drugs or alcohol and expel members who aren't ready to adopt this rigorous way of living. And by standing together with housemates on this, Members develop healthy boundaries for themselves for what is or isn't acceptable in their own lives. These opportunities, when taken advantage of, can help a member to understand what it is to be a part of a larger community and begin gaining a sense of their own role and importance in that community. With this understanding and some time under their belts, a member can begin rebuilding their own self-esteem, which in turn awakens the realization that they, along with their actions, matter. I believe that once an individual has grasped the fact that they matter, they can then begin to understand how their actions might affect others in a very real way, and in turn make healthier choices that can only end in a stronger sense of self-worth. This is our son, Kaysen. He's five weeks old, and I don't know. This is pretty self-explanatory. Without Oxford House, you know, neither of us would still be sober. We wouldn't have had the opportunity to have such a beautiful baby boy, you know. He definitely wouldn't have been born healthy if we did. Since Oxford House's inception in 1975, tens of thousands of individuals have come through having had this experience or one very similar to it, and are now valuable and integral members of their families and communities. My name is Eli and I'm the co-chair for the Washington State Association of Oxford House as well as Oxford House alumni. How can we be of service?